Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now July 27th of 2022 and we are just around the corner from Star Wars Andor releasing on Disney Plus, followed by The Bad Batch Season 2 as well as Tales of the Jedi. Before we get back to some live action material such as The Mandalorian Season 3 in February of next year. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you you also very much for the kind support it is greatly appreciated now one thing about disney star wars is that there's a lot of things happening between john favreau dave filoni and george lucas and how they're really trying to bring star wars legends back to life now what they are doing is that they're looking at all the highlights of star wars legends and what i mean by that is the best moments of that era of star wars before disney took over lucasfilm back in the day you know, books such as the New Jedi Order, the Dark Empire series, the Shadows of the Empire series as well, and a whole lot more are going to be pretty much, you know, used in all the upcoming canon. Now, moving on forward from all of this, what's even all the more exciting has a lot to do with what's been going on behind the scenes with, of course, Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni working on Mando 3 and 4. Back to back, that's really going to pretty much give fans a lot of new cameos and familiar faces to return back into the universe. Now, that brings us to the next thing here. Now, we already know that Hugh McGregor, given that he was executive producer for Obi-Wan Kenobi, he actually said this a couple of days ago, where he apologized for some of the choices that they had made in the Kenobi series, and that he is a very sorry if he actually lended a hand in all of that and if some of that was his fault you know he was executive producer he had some creative pull on parts of the show not the entire show because of course it was mostly kathleen kennedy driven for the most part given that she had a contract with the obi-wan kenobi movie trilogy and the story of that actual you know installment and how a lot of that transferred over into the series now, with both Disney and Lucasfilm getting ready to announce a ton of new Star Wars TV shows at this year's D23 and Disney Plus Day, creators Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni have been working on several new shows for the time being. Now, it's described that currently behind the scenes, however, actor Hugh McGregor is angry with Lucasfilm and the team that worked on Obi-Wan Kenobi that were loyal to Kathleen Kennedy. One of the biggest reasons of all had to do with the fact that one of the major fight sequences between both Vader and Kenobi was promised to be used in the final cut of the story for the fans to see. This was all illustrated in the form of concept art that was supposed to be filmed for the actual show and was going to involve a fight on the world of Mustafar in a completely different way that Ewan McGregor had creative control over for quite some time before they only partially filmed that scene. This was a scene that Kathleen Kennedy decided to take control over and decided to no longer use it in the script, something that Ewan McGregor was very excited about to do and knew the fans would have loved it. Now the fight involved a scene where both Vader and Kenobi are fighting on the very top of Vader's castle, where all of this was scripted out and partially filmed at one point in time, early on before Kathleen Kennedy decided to stop things early on. The main reason why Ewan McGregor was furious against Kathleen Kennedy has to do with the fact that Kennedy is refusing to let this partial footage be released to fans on Disney+. She also deleted an entire third fight that was finished and taken out of episode 4 that was supposed to be the battle on Fortress Inquisitorius between Vader and Kenobi. Ewan McGregor had a lot of control over that scene and how it was shot given he was executive producer for this particular fight scene that Kathleen Kennedy decided to pull from the final cut. The fight involved things such as Vader's suit getting set on fire by Obi-Wan, blasting some kind of gas chamber that blows up near Vader engulfing him in flames, where Vader's suit was supposed to reveal parts of Anakin's burned body. Now before I get to the next thing, which is a little ridiculous, I just want to warn you guys because this is where Kathleen Kennedy gets a little crazy, but when you look at everything of what's been going on between Kathleen Kennedy and the creators over at Lucasfilm and those that are executive producers for some of these TV shows out there, there's always creative differences and we have seen this endless times with movies, with comics and novels before in the past that Kathleen Kennedy wanted nothing to do with and decided to pull the plug on those. It just seems like, and I'm just saying this, it just seems like that Kathleen Kennedy 
appears to do these things on purpose. I don't know if that's the case or if she's just very much out of touch with Star Wars and really has no clue. It could be either or or a mixture of both. You know, I think that at the end of the day, if you really want a brand to succeed, you have to go by what the fans really want to see. And she's said this many times before that she believes that it's not about the fans. It's about the creators only and thinking about the fans only gets things in the way. That's her outlook on things. Now, to an extent, to a very small extent, that is true. You know, you can't just listen to every single fan. I get that. But you should listen to common sense and what the majority of fans are actually asking for. So moving forward from that, the reason why Kathleen Kennedy wanted to rid of that actual scene on Fortress Inquisitorius, get this, between both Kenobi and Vader, and it seems a little contradictory, by the way, is that Kennedy felt this was too violent for Star Wars and that she wanted to tone it down and keep it to that one scene where Kenobi gets burned in Episode 3. Now, Ewan had many creative differences with Kathleen Kennedy, and it's the main reason why he had refused to do a bunch of planned post-Kenobi premiere interviews alongside Kathleen Kennedy, very similar to how George Lucas did not attend the premiere of Episode 9 and more. As of now, Ewan is back on board for Kenobi Season 2 and 3 that will no longer be handled by Kathleen Kennedy and that John, Dave, and others are looking to use some of the older concepts that were rejected by Kathleen Kennedy right now from the start to actually be used in the further expansion of Kenobi series. Now, here's the thing about this before we get on to the next thing is that everything related to Disney Star Wars, when you look at it as a franchise, obviously there's a lot of flaws. We have seen what happened with the sequel trilogy. We have also seen what happened with the Solo A Star Wars Story movie with the box office results, not saying it's a bad movie. I'm just saying that Kathleen Kennedy is the main reason as to why it failed at the box office. She basically forced, you know, the original two writers out of the show, or out of the movie, I should say, and threw Ron Howard in, had him refilm 80% of the movie. It cost Disney so much money. So here we are, you know, with Kenobi, obviously a lot of fans had issues with it. Uh, I believe, you know, as of right now, it still stands as a very divided show. And I think that's why John and Dave are going to succeed. They're very well aware about this. And even John Favreau, we talked about this about a month ago, that he even said that he would have done a lot of things different with the Kenobi series, that he would have really done some drastic changes if he could. And I think that just goes to show you that John really knows Star Wars, he's a true fan, and he's really trying to connect with the actual audience. He is trying to connect with the Star Wars community. So I think that Ewan McGregor has every right to feel very much, you know, frustrated and angry against Kennedy for essentially, you know, erasing what could have been the best duels of all time in the Kenobi series, or maybe even in all of Star Wars. I mean, I know Mustafar again sounds a little redundant, but I think it sounds great. It was going to be done on the top of Vader's castle. It was going to basically be a different version of the Mustafar duel from episode three in a different light. So, like I said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys have to say below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you also very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.